Welcome, welcome Leos, welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Let's see what you and your soulmate will be making a clean slate on for November 16th to November 18th, 2018. God, Gaia, God, God's mother, father, father. So you're setting up a foundation, very solid one, but you're gonna have principles with them, a structure. Father is all about structure. What action will Mr. and Miss Leo's soulmate will be taking in action? Masking the Leos, your soulmate and you have met in past lives around trees. Whenever we have always been around trees, it's been to communicate, to express thoughts, um, to tell stories, um, to translate knowledge to each other, to meditate, to contemplate, think of when we're actually outside of the stress or the norm and this feel at peace and centered. That's when we find our tradition or our technique, our tools. This is where we find our religion or a way to re-innovate how we look at our emotions or how we look at our energy or tree, the trinity in us. How do we connect that masculine, which is all about our actions? How do we connect our feminine, which is all about strategy and the core value of it? What is the belief system of what we take action on? And once we have that belief system, how do we communicate that with the way we walk, talk, act, sleep, drink, eat, whatever? How does that align together and makes our roots strong for us to keep growing? This is what you and your masculine, masculine Leo, this is what you and your soulmate have understood in the past life and what you are experiencing in the present female lioness, you and your soulmate, are seeing how, from your masculine counterpart, how the foundation in which you set your nourishment, whether it be actual food, or the way you set your foundation, the way you have your, the way you make bread, the way you make money, the way you connect to people at your work, the way you connect to your community in which you work for. You're seeing how to become that supplement for them. And you're doing it in a structural way. So, say you are that bread for people, right? How do you give people nourishment? That is what you're going to be finding out. How, when you're going to work, how is it that you, your identity, your willpower, your Sun, the sunlight in you gives other people that strength to keep moving. Have you noticed, Miss Lioness, that when you go to work or when you go to your school or when you go and meet up with friends or family members, they probably say to you, oh, boy, I'm so happy you came. You you do not know. you, <laughs> Whew. And, and you might have brushed it off like, okay, yeah, I am a Leo. But did you ever ask them why people are excited to see you? This is the time to do that. When you are listening to people and their response, like, why do you see? I, I have a question to ask you. When I'm gone, is the atmosphere different? Or when I enter your life, how, do you, how does it make you feel? Don't think this is an arrogant question. Don't think this is a shallow question. Actually, in fact, a lot of people around you are going to be so happy. 
happy to fill you in on that. Because you're giving them the opportunity to give you back the nourishment that you have been giving others, Miss Lioness. You and your soulmate are givers. You're the huntress. You give. But that meant you had to hunt for it. Now people want to be that huntress for you, Miss Lioness. They want to tell you how much you have been replenishing them in so many ways. Whether it be verbally, whether it be even when you're not around them. You're, you're, I guess when people say, when people are not around you, I feel hopeless. Mm -mm. Leo, when you're not around people, you give them strength to want to be better. It's like, wait a minute, Leo's not around me. I got to get it. I got to man up. I got to woman up. And it makes and it reminds them why you are connected to them in the first place. Like connects like. Lioness connects other lioness, connects other hunters. You're bringing that out of them. Masculines, Leos, you and your soulmate are becoming the collaborators. You are becoming that two of fire. The two of cups is all about the lovers, right? And how they express their emotions. This one, when it was felt collaborating, talking, translating, whoever you're collaborating with, and that might be another fire sign. It might be uh, Aries, um, Leo like yourself, or Sagittarius. However, something is telling me they might have a, a, a earth in their chart. So they might, yes, they, they're, they're fiery, but they're very grounded, like the trees. So they might be a Taurus, because the second house is all about the Taurus. So they'll probably have the element of Taurus or Scorpio. But Taurus, are, okay, Taurus definitely because we're in the second house. Right, if you know somebody that's a Taurus, or they 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 feel very grounded to you, they're very solid in how they move. That will be someone that you're probably going to be collaborating with soon, very soon. Yes, masculine Leos, you probably be collaborating with a Taurian, and you and your partner or the one that you're going to be collaborating with and this could be in a form of a friend you might have a Taurus friend or a Taurus colleague um uh one of your parents can be a Taurian um one of your relatives can be a Taurian and they have a lot of fire in their chart they're very passionate when they talk they can give you very good insight on the path you're going to be taking and even this is you, masking at Leos, you are coming into your own. And as you're coming into your own, you're going to need a collaborator. You're going to need someone to bounce off ideas and goals too, to keep, since we have that clean slate, to keep the objective or to keep the momentum going. So new partnerships or contracts will be present to you. Continue to move forward. Yes, that's what was felt. Female, ah, two to the three. I tell y'all, it's always a mirror image. Masculine and feminine, feminine, masculine. I don't, even though it's two, two sections, I only do this so I can read. But how I naturally see it is, a masculine is a feminine and a feminine is a masculine. I'm, I'm reading the same story. I'm just reading it from two perspectives. From a man's perspective, from a woman's perspective. From a woman's perspective, from a man's perspective. So, feminine. Once you realize the masculine inside of you is going to have a collaborator come to you, that you probably have people in your midst that want to really work with you and have that, that foundation along with you. And whatever endeavors you're embarking on, Miss Leo, people are now becoming that trinity. You are the lioness. You are the leader. You are the masculine. So you all about action. And like the Leo, it needs a lioness to hunt. So yes, you are the hunters. You always knew how to take action. But now you're becoming that strategist like your masculine counterpart. And you're starting to communicate how you want to go forward in your passions, in your dreams, in your inspirations or aspirations. Even in your goals. You and your soulmate are going to receive abundance. You might be talking to 
as they're talking to your masculine side is talking to a Taurian, you might be communicating with a Gemini. The third house is of Gemini of communication. So in order for you to bring out how you, yes, you're all about passion. You're all about your willpower. But how you communicate, we really barely see that. We see it in your actions. So as you're still going through your actions, you might be collaborating or talking to a uh, Gemini. And Gemini is very worldly and intellectual, which definitely sparks your interest, Miss Le Miss Leo. And you and your soulmate or people that's going to be in your lives that exude that air sign, the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini Cricket, Gemini communication, just like the masculine. It could be in a friend, it could be a family member, cousin, co-worker, whoever you feel connected to. It has to be someone you feel connected to. But yet, you're going to be noticing how they talk. It makes you feel like they're a Gemini. Like, you might even ask them, like, when is your birthday? So that way, when you Google, you can find out if they're a Gemini or not. Be slick. Hey. Things are going to start looking up for you and your soulmate in a very good way. So, have patience at this time and make long-term plans. Because you and your soulmate, or you and the collaborators that's coming to you, are going to be taking you on a di direction in which you always wanted. So have your passions, have your strategies to how you want to make your passions a reality and your willpower in sync. Because once it's time to communicate, practice with a Gemini. That's the perfect example I could give you. Practice with a Gemini. Or you might be collaborating or talking to people for three months, three days, that will help you on your direction. Or around 3 a.m., 3 o'clock, any number with 3 in it will be that time when you're going to be moving in that same direction or moving with purpose. So it might be around 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. The number 3 is very important. Check out numerology number 3. I might put that on um, Kiki Story reference just in case. Okay, so we meet again, Mr. and Ms. Leos. Know that you and your soulmate are becoming, yes, the leaders of your will, but you're realizing that your will connects to so many others. I love you. We will see you on the other side.